Kia good evening. The controversy surrounding Tauranga MP Sam Uffendale could trigger another by-election less than two months after the last one. He's been stood down from National after new allegations emerged from a woman who says Uffendale bullied her while they flattered together at university in Dunedin. Earlier this week, he admitted violently beating a fellow boarding school student at prestigious King's College. National leader Christopher Luxon says a staff member failed to pass on a message about red flags concerning his past. We'll cross live shortly to our reporter Isabel Ewing at Parliament. But first, her report. Christopher Luxon has backed his newest MP from the get-go, from his election win just seven weeks ago. We've got a really outstanding new Member of Parliament joining us in Sam. And even through revelations of Sam Uffendale's bullying past. I punched a student in there uh, numerous times in the arm and the body. I did stuff that, um, that I'm not proud of at all. He is a good candidate and he's a high integrity person. But now a fresh allegation of harassment emerging from Uffendale's former flatmate in Dunedin. I was locked in my bedroom because I feared for my safety and he was smashing my, on my door telling me to get out and hit the road fatty and swearing and I ended up climbing out of my bedroom window and ran to a friend's house. In a statement, Uffendale said a number of flatmates fell out and two left and he rejected any accusations of intimidation or bullying. And now a different tune from his leader. Do you no longer trust Sam Uffendale? Uh, all I'm saying is new and serious allegations came to light last night. I want to make sure that they get properly investigated. Uffendale has been stood down pending the outcome of that investigation, the party closing ranks. I certainly feel for his family, I feel for the people who have been affected by actions from the past. I have nothing to say other than uh, my thoughts go out to victims of all bullying. Todd McClay was Tauranga campaign chair. He knew about the 1999 incident that saw Uffendale kicked out of King's College for beating up a third former, yesterday saying it wasn't up to him to give his leader a heads up. Look, it's not my role as a campaign chair to talk directly to the leader about things that has happened in that selection process. Labor's campaign chair in 2020 saying that is exactly the role. Certainly it would have been part of what I would have informed the leader about. And now Luxon saying Todd McClay did tell his office, but a staffer failed to pass on the information. Sometime during that campaign, he informed my staff that wasn't passed through to me, and that is regrettable, and it's a mistake. Tauranga voters losing patience. Oh, you know, it's a bit dusty, eh? I'd, I'd boot him. I think the fault actually lies with the National Party in their vetting. I actually think he should actually go. He's got too much baggage behind him. Though some support remains... Give the poor guy a break. A break not likely for Sam Uffendale. OK, Isabel, so what are the chances of a by-election? Well, Michael, the obvious way a by-election could happen would be if Sam Uffendale decides to resign. If he doesn't resign and the party sacks him, he could stay on as an independent MP in Parliament until next year's election. Now, the other way a by-election could happen would be if he refuses, if he's sacked and refuses to leave Parliament, but the party really wants him out, in which case Christopher Luxon could write to the Speaker and request that he's removed. But that is highly unlikely. The National Party will not want to trigger a by-election uh, it's simply not in their interest, not a good look. Uh, not only is there little appetite for it, voters in Tauranga, just a 40% turnout there uh, for that by-election in June. And that by-election cost the taxpayer $1.2 million. And the Electoral Commission says that if another one were to happen, it would cost about the same. Uh, that investigation into Uffendale is expected to take about two weeks. And so he will be thinking very hard about what his future looks like and whether it's here in Parliament. Isabel Ewing live at Parliament. Thanks for the analysis.